Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha Tzav, Hashem instructs Aaron and his sons, the Kohanim, about bringing animals as karbanos. In connection to this, we are going to make a little stuffed cow out of a sock. Here are the supplies that we will need. Eight black pom-poms, six small clear rubber bands, two googly eyes, tacky glue, pink felt, brown and black tissue paper, stuffing, a white tube sock, scissors, a paintbrush, and a black and pink sharpie. Let's get started. Begin by cutting off about two to three inches from the top of the tube sock, the open side. Then fill the sock with stuffing, making sure it is spread out and not bunched up in one area. So what's the deal with this cow? Let's talk about that. In the times of the Beis HaMikdash, when someone brought a carbon, they were required to first examine the animal and make sure it had no defects. For example, it couldn't be sick, blind, or missing a limb. Only then could it be offered up to the fire on the Mizbeah. Once your sock is filled with stuffing, fold in the top of the sock so no edges are peeking out. Using the rubber bands, tie two sections off at the bottom for the back legs, two in the middle for front legs, and two on the corners of the top for the ears. Nowadays, we don't have a base on Mikdash, so we aren't able to bring physical animals as carbonos, but the process of the carbonos still takes place within each one of us, inside our hearts. You see, Hashem made each of us with two very different parts, a nefesh kiss, which is a piece of Hashem, and a nefesh Bahamis, an animal soul. The nefesh kiss part of us only wants to do what Hashem wants, but the animal within us only thinks about itself and its own needs, what feels good and pleasurable. Once you've made the ears and all four legs, use your paintbrush and tacky glue to glue the googly eyes onto the cow's face. Now out comes the black tissue paper. Cut out several small squares and then scrunch each piece into a loose ball. These will become the cow's spots. Glue each scrunched piece somewhere on the cow's body. You get to choose how many black patches it will have. You can also create patches on its back. Just as a physical animal was brought as a carbon, we can also bring the animal part of ourselves as a carbon tashem. Similar to the way the animal first had to be checked for any blemishes, we too can look inside ourselves and see if there's anything we have done that needs a little fixing. Fire represents love and enjoyment. Just like the animal was put into the fire of the Mizbeach, we too can set our animal souls on fire with the love of Hashem. This means we can still enjoy things like an animal knows how to, but instead of doing it just for ourselves, we can do it for Hashem. For example, when you eat a delicious snack, instead of just appreciating the yummy taste, you can think about how eating this snack is going to give you the energy to daven, help your mommy, or learn chumash at school. Next, glue the pom-poms in pairs. Glue two pom-poms to each other. Then do the same for all of them, creating four pairs. These are the cow's split hooves, one of the signs of a kosher animal. Glue a pair of pom-poms, otherwise known as hooves, to each of the front and back legs. Did you know that many animals have hooves? such as horses, hippos, and zebras? But what do you think? Are these animals kosher? Nope, they're not. First of all, even though they may have hooves, they're not split in the way the Torah says they have to, in order to be kosher. And second, they also do not chew their cuds. And for this reason, these animals cannot be used for a carbon. Next, cut two small squares of brown tissue paper and scrunch and twist each of them into a cone-like shape. You guessed it, these will be the horns. Glue the horns on the cow's head near the ears. Tuck them a bit into the opening of the sock and seal the opening with glue. Then cut a small oval from the pink felt for the cow's snout. Use the sharpies to add features such as a mouth and nose. Then glue it on the face under the eyes. And very importantly, make sure you give your cow a name. Enjoy playing with your stuffed cow and we'll see you next week.